some of the great foods you sit down to eat at dinner each night could eventually cost more or simply not be available. Yeah, WAD's Doug Wolf reports on the growing shortage of domestic and immigrant uh, farm workers, which Congress may have to address. Thousands of migrant workers are needed each year to harvest the foods which show up on our dinner plates. However, there is a shortage of American workers and immigrants to handle the task. American families are the ones being adversely affected as our workforce crisis will continue to drive food prices even higher. As Congress wrestles with immigration reform, it's clear immigrants are needed to help harvest. Senator Dick Durbin told the story of Shea Myers, who farms asparagus. Shea is one of the millions of Americans, farmers and business owners who understand our economy depends on the labor of immigrants. Myers Farm lost an entire season's worth of profit because 36 immigrant workers were delayed at the border and he couldn't find domestic workers to replace them. He noted, and I quote, it's not safe because if we can't get workers, we can't harvest our crops. If we can't harvest our crops, we can't feed you. Myers is not the only one. Adam Litch of L&M Farms lost one of his crops because of delays at the U.S. border. We had about 160 acres of broccoli that was ready to harvest that, that we completely lost. There's ample evidence that we have a substantial shortage of domestic and immigrant workers choosing to work in agriculture. Senator Durbin says immigrants account for 60% of all farm workers in the United States. Lawmakers must enact new laws to protect the rights of these workers while also providing them with a path to permanent legal status. There is some bipartisan support for providing access to more immigrants, which would likely be included in a future comprehensive immigration bill. Doug Wolf reporting, WAND News. U.S. Department of Labor reports in 2019 there were 258,000 immigrants given temporary ag work visas, but it's less than 4% of the total number of workers needed for food production.